In this video, we're going to learn how to make a bubble plot in R. Now, a bubble plot is essentially just a scatter plot that has a third numeric variable mapped to a size aesthetic so that the size of the points that appear are sized according to that third variable. So we're just going to start by loading in the tidyverse so we have access to ggplot, and we're going to use the mtcars data set for this one. Now to make the bubble plot in ggplot2, we're just going to take the data, pipe it to ggplot. We're going to set up the x and y aesthetics as we would for a normal scatter plot. So we're going to put weight on the x-axis, miles per gallon on the y. And then we're going to add a third aesthetic to make the size of the bubbles or the points. So we're going to set size equal to horsepower. And then we're just going to plot geome point like we would for a scatter plot. You can see we have made a bubble plot with horsepower set to the size of the points. And we can probably make this nicer by adding some color and maybe setting a greater range for the size of the dots. So we'll just show how a slightly nicer plot might look. So we're essentially going to make the same plot except we're adding color by cylinder. And we're also going to add a custom scale range for the points. So now you can see the plot looks a little bit nicer, and we also have this color grouping by cylinder, which helps us see that these higher MPG cars tend to be the four-cylinder cars, which also tend to have smaller circles, which means they also tend to have less horsepower. Now for one final plot, we'll show how to convert this ggplot2 plot into a plotly plot so we have some interactivity. You can do that by wrapping an existing ggplot in this ggplotly function that comes with the plotly package. So we're passing plot2, which is the plot we just made above, to ggplotly. We're setting a specified width and height. And then we're just going to add a little bit of extra formatting so that the plotly plot looks a little bit better. The plotly plot adds some interactivity. So we could, for instance, hover over this point and see that this particular data point is the Pontiac Firebird eight cylinder car with 175 horsepower and we can see the exact weight and mpg ratings for it you can actually interact with the legend to toggle different groups on and off as well so for instance if we only wanted to see four cylinder cars we could come up to the legend and click on eight and six to toggle those off and now we're just left with the four cylinder cars so that is how to make bubble plots using r all the code used in this video is available in the description below if you found this video useful, drop a like, and if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.